Brown got the motor in that thing, and boy, it do sound good. He drove it yesterday. He said, man, it'll burn the wheels off of that thing. Some kid's going to have a good time with that. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I got to park this thing. The ball joints are falling out of this thing. <laughs> it's just not safe anymore. I should have had it fixed by now, but you know how it is when you got so many kids it's hard to give them all the love they need uh, I sure be wish I could be giving this one some love but not right now Of course, man. Now you got to be careful about that old poison, that old nasty old rat manure and stuff in there. So you got your hazmat outfit on? All right, he's ready to go. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Have you got the air out of it? Yeah. Don't know why that's. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. Oh, that thing sounds good, huh? Yeah, it does sound good. Man, I do. I make it sound better when I when I get tuned in. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get my garden hose out here. Yeah. <laughs> get the garden hose out. Yeah. Make it happen. You got dual you got dual exhaust all the way back. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Rev it up a little. Well, I tell you what. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go around back and see if I can find me something to drive. <laughs> I probably couldn't afford gas for this one. I'm gonna put the gas in a minute and head it up. All right. You know, I, I don't think it would have made it up to Jack's driveway. Oh, it would overheat it by the time you got up there. Well, I went up there and turned around and came back, and I run about 200. Yeah, I, I think it's all right. And, and that heat climbs fast on this thing. Right? Yeah. We went already at about 100, 180 right now. Huh. <laughs> well, we'll keep an eye on it. All right, I got to go find something to drive. I think this will just do nicely. I drove this truck in my business. And I just uh, took it off the road and restored it, I don't know, 10 years ago, maybe. But um, yeah, I drove it back and forth to California many, many times. And it's a rough ride, <laughs> old three quarter ton, but boy, it'll haul everything you can pile on it. it don't hardly even squat, it's got big overloads on the back. Uh, three quarter ton, it's got air shocks on the back. And yeah, you can load it down and, and I wouldn't be afraid to head to New York in this truck. Uh, it's been a good one. You know, I did kind of a rant on this thing when I got it back from the body shop after it wrecked that time. And uh, here's another thing. Here's some more of Terry Halverson's good work inside that hood there. Looks real nice, don't it? Halverson Auto Body from Nancy Washington. Don't go there. <laughs> All right. That's about that. Boy, what a beautiful day. What's the temperature today? Brown, you know? Must be 60 or better. Anyway. 
He's not listening to me. I don't blame him. I don't either. Me and uh, Brown and Victor, we all just uh, throbbing and pulsating, man. We're fixing to have a celebrity guest show up here from YouTube. A YouTube celebrity. Man, we can't wait. We don't get much company. Oh, uh, BC65925 from Indiana. Been talking back and forth. He and I talked on the phone a couple times and uh, emailed back and forth quite a bit over the years. And I watched a lot of his videos. And never have seen him plow snow, not even one time. But uh, anyway, yeah, they come out to visit their family in Seattle, and they come over on their way on their way up to see us here. So we're all excited, and uh, I know y'all will be too. Well, there's two pellets of grafting seal, and I gotta go pick up another one on Monday. Uh, one year I went through 10 pallets of this stuff, but that was the year we did a million grafts. We did 800,000 grafts uh, for e j Gallo in California, in the vineyards. And then uh, added that to what we did here in Washington in the apples and pears and cherries and stone fruit and and we did a million grafts that was about uh, seven eight years ago and uh, yeah glad I did it don't ever want to do it again um, I think it's time for a cold start on this old uh, this old 32 Chevy here yeah, I don't know if you can uh, really call it a cold start but it's been sitting out here a long time and hasn't, hasn't run but you know how these old Chevys start. Um, that's a that's a pretty good likeness of me right there, grabbing that old guitar neck shifter. And right there, um, let me see. Let this old thing will fire off. The original engine, 1932, 194 cubic inch. Everybody thinks it's a 216, but 216 did not come out until 1937. Let's see what she do. A couple of pumps of the old gas and a pull on the old choke and hit the old monkey wrench starter. <laughs> We have celebrities. Whoa. We have BC65925 from Indiana and his lovely family. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take these boys for a ride in the Rockabilly Rat Rod. Mom, oh, look at that. <laughs> Honey, house. We'll steal a 
understand 